Hey everybody, it's a beautiful Saturday night. We wanted to get started, even if we, quick as we can after six o'clock. And here we are, enjoying the Cruz family, Dairy, and the Ugo Brothers General Store. So stick around for a tour of the General Store. I don't know, I've seen a few people who vlog it, but not many. So it's a very interesting place. Um, and they've got excellent lounges outside where you can relax on these little day beds that swing. I think there's somebody swinging behind me. Nope, it's over there. Let me, let me show you here real quick. They got some swings right over there that are swinging back and forth that the people were just using. Maybe we'll go visit those. Hey, what do you think? Maybe we should go visit those swings. And uh, <clears throat> then also they have opened up a sky lift. Sky, this is a sky ranch here. Oh, with the longest, one of the longest uh, mountain coasters. And that's in this area as well. And right across the street is Tangier. Hey, have you been to Tangiers? Mademoiselle from Tangier, right? So, who? Uh, wow. So, boy, has it been an exciting week for us. We started to see the results of years of hard work. Even if it's just two years or ten years, it's been hard work. And uh, we went to Bible college back in... Uh, 1997 through 2000 so that's been 24 years ago we, we graduated in 2000 from Bible College and then I had a painting company in Tampa for 20 years we lived there from 97 to 2017 and then we kind of stayed in the in the Tampa area for another year while we were living in the RV before we came up here and um, so uh, wow this is amazing what's going on right now in history <clears throat> and uh, this week we've had a wonderful testimony of one of our, our uh, viewers getting healed and that has been a goal of ours that we can assemble people on our channel and and when someone chats in for a, a question uh, about their health or about a prayer that we're able to do that and have a, an excellent um, answer that comes right away sometimes and this week it did so we're really excited about that i'm just going to tune in my other phone here real quick make sure i'm on and everything's working I haven't seen anybody come in yet so i just want to make sure that we're working and, and everything's flowing right out and yep there i am so it looks like we're working live and uh we're going to be it looks like i'm on all right so let me turn my volume down so I'll, you know what I'll do is I'll just text myself. Hey, Roy and Marie, how are you? All is well in the world. And uh, at least till Monday, huh? <laughs> Everything's great. Um, yeah, we're, we, I, I'm not much of a prepper. I, I stay with what God tells me to do. And uh, definitely enjoying um, uh, all of the YouTube videos about April 8th. I don't know if anybody else is, but, you know, I've got that feeling like I'm up on an uphill chain for a roller coaster and the top is Monday. <laughs> so uh, we have set a few extra things aside. I recommend everybody should be ready for, you know, uh, you should always be ready for two weeks with no Internet, two weeks with no avail availability. You should always be ready for that no matter what. And uh, so we were just dusting up on all of our storage and everything that we've got. Hey! Ron Miguel, how are you? And, uh, oh yes, we're going to get ice cream. Uh, uh, now, the, the, one of the problems is, is they have pretty loud music in there where they where you get the ice cream. And uh, But uh, they also have whole milk here from their dairy. And you would absolutely, as a matter of fact, we just did a vlog about a month ago here. And you could see that much cream was on the top of that milk. Oh, was that awesome or what? I remember that as a little kid, and, and and when I was a little kid, that milk mustache was real because that's how much fat was in the milk back then. But it, it's just not in there anymore for health reasons, and we don't need to. We don't seem to need that much. At, mm, the, whose age? I don't know. And we are the only country in the world that feeds its children and its adults milk past 11 years old. A lot of other countries don't have anything like that, but they don't have cows like we do. So. Um, that's been exciting and 
Uh, I haven't even told you the most exciting thing, but that's the testimony of, of how hard we have worked the last 24 years to have a testimony like that, to live the lifestyle of Christ, to live the lifestyle of, of anointing so that when we pray, we see answers. And, and, and to, to have it happen on YouTube, with all of our, you know, and there were other people there in the chat. They heard the prayer. They agreed with the prayer. We as a team, we as a group of our YouTube channel, wouldn't that be wonderful to have people coming into our YouTube channel to be prayed for and see results? Because we've had a, we've had a miracle. I mean, this, the, the lady's, um, Diane's kidneys restarted. I mean, it's not, you know, restarted. That's big. And uh, so we're just so excited about that. That's the most important thing that's happened this week. And uh, uh, so I wanted to let you know about that. <clears throat> there's some other exciting things coming up. And there's even a little bit of snow on the distant mountains. We actually had snow here. The mountains were covered with snow the other day. And now it's just the highest elevations that are still white. <clears throat> In April. <clears throat> but then again, I like this part of the country. You know, I know how I like it is because just about the time I've had enough of winter and cold weather, here comes the spring and summer. And then just about the time I have had enough of that summer with the heat and the, and the humidity, and well, not so much humidity here, but just the heat, uh, here comes the coolness of the winter. And uh, already the Huskies, she slowed down. <laughs> She's like, this is not the cold weather I like to run in. Um, Joy is right here. And Joy is back. Yes, there she is. <laughs> um, She's going to send me in to get the ice cream here as soon no, as... No, I think I'll go get it. Um, oh, that's what, right. She has a want? harder time talking off the cuff like than I do. But wait till you go. Can I show him? Can I show her the, the picture you sent me of my new card and all that? Let's see. Yeah. Nope. That's not the one you decided about. Oh, yeah. No, it isn't. That's not the one you decided about. You must have sent that to my other phone, which is in the car. But uh, I do have, um, Joy has made me a new card. And uh, because I have an opportunity coming up. Yeah, opportunity. Ooh. I don't know if they can Did see, see it? it. Yeah, perfect. That looks great. It's going to be a back and front card. Um, yeah, it's reversible. Good. It's going to be reversible. So one side is like this. And the other side is going to be. And he wanted, side. he wanted, um, he wanted to have me on the, on the picture, <laughs> with him. <laughs> yes, I said, I, he I said, said I'm going to be, I'm going, I have a chance to paint canvases for the public. And then, the, and then there's the the reverse side, right there. Isn't that awesome? Beautiful. So it's two sided. It'll so, be two -sided. I have a, I have a scoop for you. The first scoop is that last week we were up at the Sky Bridge and for the Easter service and we met the manager and the manager said I'm going to have my uh, uh, PR coordinator get a hold of you and uh, so she called me and I just thought they were kind of like wondering, hoping maybe something, uh uh, no, they actually have offered me an opportunity for two weeks, two Fridays in a row, to come paint like Storyteller Don. Up on the mountain. Up on the mountain. And then, and, and, almost, we, and uh, I'm almost we can, scared. We can live stream it too, they said. Yeah, and, so, and so that means I'll have a thousand people, you know, coming by uh, the table. So, uh, and as I paint. So I've got some different ideas. They, they kind of want me to be able to do it quickly and maybe do several of them so um and that's a possibility i told them it does take about an hour an hour and a half and they're scheduling me for four hours so i'll be able to do a couple of them and um, they asked me about um uh, what i wanted to do with the paintings and, and, I, and I, you know am i going to sell them or whatever well, my and idea and then so, and I, so had the and idea. I said that to joy <laughs> When I said that to Joy about paying for the paintings or what do I do with the paintings, she had this I had a wonder. great idea because th this was the Lord, too, because yeah. I did not know what their goals were at the Sky Park mm -hmm. because they 
want to be different than Anakista. Anakista, they said, is more like making itself kind of like a theme park, mm -hmm. and they do not want to be a theme park. And so they want to be like. But a they didn't tell park. us what they wanted to do yet. Yeah. I, we were having breakfast in Gatlinburg, at the Pancake Pantry, and I said, um, you know, we were talking about it, and I said, what if we take a painting, and we donate it to the national park anything any kind of money that it would bring in we donate it the money to the national park to raise money for the national park i thought you know that's good for the national park it's good for the sky park to do that and um you know me and my nature i love nature you know that's the the, the um, asperger's autism thing is nature it's my happy place so what better thing for me to think of than donate it to nature, you know? And um, surprise, surprise. So then, then he was telling the um, coordinator, the, Christine. Yeah, and she said, we have been wanting to have a connection with the national park. We haven't done it yet, but we have been wanting to build a connection with the national park to do something for the national park because. We don't want to be a theme park. We want to be a nature park. We want our place to be like a nature park for people to come up here and enjoy nature. Mm -hmm. Now, they you are going to have re get restaurants. Get off the hustle of the parkway and come up. They're going to have uh, restaurants and stuff, mm -hmm. but they want people to come up there and eat and enjoy the, the mountain views. You know, and not and not like have a bunch of kitty things or a bunch of Noise. things to get on and whatever. Yeah, to be very peaceful and enjoyable and enjoy those mountain views. That's what their goal is. And I was like, wow, that fit. I mean, that to, that, to me that was just like God put it in that That's us. idea on my heart because that it, it fit right into what they wanted, and I had no idea. You know. Yep. And um, so that was that 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 was exciting, you know, for that too. So um, and they, uh, the, he told us the manager told us, um, which if you watch my Easter video, you'll see. And I might put out another short video of it uh, of the interview because we interviewed the manager. So they are putting restaurants up there. They're putting uh, smash Smoky burger. Mountain Smash Burgers. Yeah. First. And they're building it on the other side, you know, on the other side of the bridge is where they're putting the smash burgers, Smoky Mountain smash burgers. And then they're building a whole seating area, just like at the front part of the bridge. They're building be another the seating side. area like that at the, at the back part of the bridge so that people can sit there and eat and enjoy setting, looking at the mountains and everything. And then after that, they will be putting a full, Hello, a, a full restroom not restroom um restaurant yeah this they, that's beyond the smash burgers they're putting another restaurant in mm -hmm. beyond that and then later he he said this is your, and he gave us a scoop he goes this is a scoop he goes they're building another bridge they're building another bridge beyond that it's smoky mountain blessed heard it first yeah he's good this is a scoop for you this is a scoop for you so yeah, that's exciting. That's exciting. That's exciting. And and the person I talked to has been up there for 47 years. I'm sure he comes down to go to... The know, manager. You know, yeah. He's the man. He started taking tickets 47 years ago. So that's somebody that's worked their way up and knows the heart of that mountain. And I'm just excited that, you know, here I am just a lowly painter on YouTube. And <laughs> I fit their mission. They, they, they like it. And I get to, and my first job is up at the top of the mountain. <laughs> Ryan it's a little said, bit scary, I want you to know. Ryan I Maria look said, forward to you being with me. Ryan Maria said, now we hear it second, because we heard it first, and now they hear it second. Yeah. Well, well I, I, Hi, everybody I, that's here in the it's chat. It's a week from Friday, a week from yesterday. So, um, I know, it's great news. Uh, um, so, it'll be a week from Friday, yesterday, and... Uh, doing some logistics this week so wow, wow, wow. Um, what are we what, you know what could happen next is this is what we've dedicated ourselves to this is what we desire to have happen this is what we want to see <laughs> occur in our life 
And, uh, you know, it isn't something that, you know, there's a lot more talented artists out there than me. And, uh, and, and I'm sure they'll be shocked <laughs> to see me. But the thing Who of is it is, guy? here's the thing, you can't outgive God. Yeah. And what have we been doing? We have been giving and giving and giving, right? We've been giving paintings away, his original paintings away. Oh, then he was going to say, <laughs> he was going to tell people, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, keep your paintings. Keep your you know, paintings you now. Remember I said I, they might be worth something <laughs> one day? Well, guess what? <laughs> maybe, keep your maybe it'll be worth something. Some of you are going to actually <laughs> take them out of some drawer and actually put it up. <laughs> and say, oh, I know this guy now. <laughs> well, yeah, before, yeah, you know, but now, oh yeah, I'm taking that painting out. Oh, it's always hung there for years. <laughs> anyway, I love you. I know you love me, and that. Well, I'm just joking around. So yeah. I appreciate your time and your 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 eyes upon our channels. Thank you so much for oh, what you've done for us. Oh, and yeah, I think I said, and they're gonna let us live stream the um, yeah the thing now. What I might do... Which we have to make sure we get the spot that has reception. Yeah, what I might do... Yeah, because it was an issue. Oh, don't, didn't we get on their live? They might... Their live. No, they, they a, might let us hook up to their Wi-Fi. Wi mm -hmm. Yeah, they will. They, yeah, so that we can have a good signal. Mm -hmm. And what I might do is live stream on both channels, on his and mine, and do one vertical and one horizontal, you know, um, mm -hmm. and try to get more... Uh, and have Bob it on Ross too. Yeah. have it on have it, have the uh, have them set up on tripods the the two cameras set Happy up on little tripods, mountain. you know and uh, and do that so that's yeah that's exciting you yeah, know, very exciting to get I look up at those mountains and say I'm gonna paint you um, also I had an idea too of, of painting the mountain shape ahead of time and letting that dry, cover up the tape, like I did the river the other couple weeks ago. And then when I get there, I'll be able to paint the sky exactly the way the sky looks. And not have to worry about it drying, because then after I paint the sky, then I pull the tape and reveal the mountains, and then we do the details. Well, see, because the um, the manager suggested that he go ahead and have it, par have it painting partially done, mm -hmm. you know, and then Cause, cause he put in all the finishing yeah. touches and stuff. Of course, but with four hours, yeah, I think he's speaking not in terms of. Uh, well, you could probably do a couple. It takes. Of paintings yeah, I'm gonna have to do a couple of them because I, yeah. I don't think people are gonna stand there for an hour. <laughs> and so I think he has the idea of the if it's partially done, then people are more likely to stand there and watch longer of what is happening. And if you're just starting with a white canvas, you know, people are like, oh, that's nice, but they move on. And so he's he's very interested, in, in, and he said, you know. What you do is exactly what we want to do up here, and to be peaceful and quiet. He said, and, and the lady said to me, you know, I want that peaceful path on a mountain trail where you come across a painter. And what would you do? And I told her, I said, I'd stop and watch. She said, Yeah, that's kind of what we'd like to do. I was like, That's a great. They're idea. gonna have. Um for when it does get hot, they're going to have like some sort of cover for yep. him. They're going to plan on cover. You know, if, if it was to be hot. We but can it's use not our hot Patriot. right now, so. No. No. I mean, this season, it's not no. hot right now. We, so. got a, we got a Patriot generator for our electricity. If it's too far to a plug, we'll be good. It's going to be awesome. And yeah. uh, I've got to make a table that doesn't blow away. I just happened to buy a new easel, which I was trying to set up for Tuesdays and never got around to it because I just love that old one. Don't you love my old easel with the river at the bottom and all the colors? I just love my easel. So, you know, I, I want to, I, so I'm going to get a new easel. I'm going to screw it to a table and I'm going to get some things to put my paint in so that, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be a great time. It's time. nippy out here today. I have on two yes, sweatshirts and a long sleeve shirt and my uh, I'll let you know. my Maybe vest it is. and um, of course 55 my, right now. my hat. Yeah. It's funny though when you come out of winter, degrees. 55 is so warm. Uh, you know, <laughs> and now that we've had 60s and 70s and 80s, 55 is cold again. <laughs> I'm cold. But maybe Joy can show you the mountains. Oh, you're gonna go in and get it. Yeah, what do you want? Um, you know? No, I'll go look. Huh? Can I go look? Okay, he's gonna go look. <laughs>
Yeah. It is chilly for us right here. Definitely chilly. Let me see if I can show you the view. They have a few people going up and down on the um, the sky lift to uh, to Skyland Ranch. Rhonda said it was 51, and Roy and Maria said it's 54 there. Thanks for hitting the like button. I heard no. This is fine. What what did you want? Well, the only thing in there I really want is the paint. Mint. Paint of mint. We could split that if you want to save. Just have a pint of mint. I was thinking of having a hot chocolate. <laughs> you want a hot chocolate? I was thinking of having a hot chocolate. get a pint of mint and a hot chocolate. We could even put some of the mint in the hot chocolate to cool it off so you can drink it. to see those you don't really get to see boy it's way 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 out there there's the little bit of snow still up at the high peaks probably that's probably LeConte the high peaks isn't that the tallest one around yeah that's probably it <sighs> we're back all right do you want to stare at me or do you want to stare at the prison cell Bear, prison bars <laughs> ah, who's in here it's 54 51 in Illinois pretty view I see the snow thank you Rhonda Whew. you know those days when your fingerprint just doesn't work and you wonder what to do And I worked till uh, 9.30 last night to get the house I was working on. I was working on an empty house so I could just stay as late as I wanted to and I wanted to get it done. So I got all that done. Yay. <sighs> all right. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We did go to this um, Five Oaks restaurant one time. It was, boy, that was a couple of years ago, and it still seems, and it was expensive then, so I can't imagine what it was like now. But boy, is that a beautiful place in there. They did that whole inside like a, a 
mansion and a barn all wrapped in one. That's beautiful. Island Ranch is here. Looks there. A little bit like Skylift Park, as far as you know. That Skylift Park does not have the coaster. Is that better? That's better. You can hear people hollering. You know what? I'm going to switch this back. I feel like I'm not with you, just staring at these bars. <clears throat> back. Back. There I am. Ooh. Wow, she changed the screen a little, didn't she? Oh, look at my ugly chin. <laughs> look out. Oh, no. I got to fix this. All right. Now you, can, now you know I didn't shave, huh? <laughs> All right. Good. All right, I think I'm as far out as it'll go. Now let's re reverse it again. There I am. I don't know what happened there, but wow. Talk about a close-up. I did not need that. Nobody needs a close-up when you get to be older, do they? No, <laughs> we don't want the close-up. So now I'm just adjusting my legs. Just so I can say hi again. So, what else has been going on? Of course, I've been, you know, I'm still painting the houses. As you can see on my hands, plenty of paint. And uh, so, getting ready to finish up this house. And they said, oh, well, we want you to have a, a fix the downspout. And we want you to fix this other thing. So, I got some extra money out of that. A little extra time. And, ooh, I got some a gift. What's in my bag? Oh, a mint. And I'll bet you we could take a spoon of this mint and put it into her hot chocolate and it would cool it down a lot quicker for her. I hit the button and it zoomed in on the spot of my chin. <laughs> they know I haven't shaved. <laughs> so hmm. these aren't the thickest. I mean, be careful. Be careful those, that they're... ice cream's hard as a rock. Really. I know, that's what I was thinking too. So we we'll want to be careful. But. So this is the mint of the Cruz family farm. Hi, I don't, there aren't any mint, there aren't any chips in it either, by the way. It's not busy here. Mm -hmm. Not tonight. It's not busy here. There are some noisy kids running around, so it sort of sounds like that. So do you want some this of this mint ice cream in your kids playing in your coffee? I mean, in your hot chocolate. I have um, whipped cream and chocolate. Ooh. I don't know if you can see it. That's not even very full. Mm -mm. No, they didn't fill it all, all the way up. You want this? Yeah. Did, huh? They certainly do a good job of... Roy Murray said they're at Culver's. Really? Oh, Culver's. Like, oh, we went to a Culver's in Indiana. The Butter Butter Burger, right? The Better Butter Burger. I don't like um, hot drinks. So I like she's warm not used drinks. To hot drinks. I don't like drinks that burn my tongue because uh, I don't know. My tongue is real sensitive to hot drinks, and it'll burn my tongue and it'll it'll hurt for like a while. Mm -hmm. This isn't even hot mm. at all. It couldn't be from your ice cream cooling it off that much. Mm. about that full. <laughs> I would go in there and blink. I would go in there and say, I just opened up my drink and this is all that's in there. And it's cold. Or is it your is it about your temperature then? It's my temperature. Oh, okay, good. Well then we're all right. Hmm. I being a previous cook and being in the food service business, I don't put up with things that, you know, go wrong. You know, I want, and you know, it isn't so much because, you know, I'm picky or this. I want people to be happy. 
And you know, people in these places, they want you to be happy. They don't want you to complain. They don't want you to walk away with a sour feeling. They want to know if there's an issue so they can make it right. Because why? So you come back. We were just here a month ago. I think it was cold then too. And uh, we had our ice cream and we enjoyed ourselves. And they even turned the music down so we could sit inside without being copyrighted. And something happened then too. No, we, we just had to get out quicker because they were closing. Mm. Yeah, we were the last people in. Real sweet. So, I don't want know. any ice cream. <laughs> it's okay. too cold. Yeah, cold. I'm trying to look at what I'm going to do with the rest of this. Am I going to go put it in the car to, while we go in the grocery? While we go in the there's no there's no music in that store when I was in there. Mm -hmm. So that's good. We can try to walk you through there. Hopefully, we have a signal. Yeah, if you haven't if you haven't been to Oogles General Store, it's really something. There's a it's 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 better than better than some as far as family stores and the unique stuff they carry you know of course everybody's everybody carries some of the same stuff like three bears or anywhere else but and uh, but they Rhonda said her mom used to cook at the nursing homes up there and she's a great cook uh -huh. yeah there are there's got to be at least one great cook in the family hold it all together I know some people, when a certain member of the family passed away, they quit having reunions or anything. It was that person that always organized it. And it's like, oh, you can't let that happen. And it's a little bit more difficult to eat ice cream like this. It's a little harder. But you just get a lot more, too. That six or seven dollar Sunday or cone is gone in he's, five minutes. He's budget conscious when it comes to that. He wants the most for his money. Yep. Or at least the the speed, you know. But like, you know, I blew I blew money on Smoky Mountain Napoli, and I thought that was dumb. But we had the greatest time playing that. Somebody's not happy at the ice cream store. Rhonda said she's an okay cook, but not like her mom. Good cook knows how to stay in the kitchen. So what does that say about you? My kitchen's pretty small. And I was a professional cook. I stayed in the kitchen. That's why I'm a good cook. But he doesn't stay in the kitchen all the time now. Mm. He's burned. Not as a painter. A thing or two. <laughs> oh yeah, I have burned my bacon a couple of times. I have busted my biscuits a couple of times. I've dried out my share of burgers. That's for sure. Gave it a slight mint flavor. Adding that to it. Rhonda said it happens. <laughs> it doesn't happen if you don't leave the kitchen, I don't think. I mean, if you're paying attention. <laughs> yeah, there might be fudge or some other kind of treat in that store, too. This ice cream's going to stay cold in the car. I think I'm going to have a problem letting it wait. Mm. Now, we've recently blogged several different kinds of mint ice cream. And one of the, I think the best is still Andy's. But it comes with chocolate chips. Now if this had chocolate chips in it, it might even be better. But this is probably their soft ice cream that they, they do into pints at the end of the day. Mm. I do like mint chocolate chip. If it's a mint, I do like it to have. I do chocolate. like it to have a chocolate chip. Yeah. That would make this a lot better. Yeah. And of course, they could swirl in some chocolate syrup while they're filling it. And that would be good. 
Donnie is a, 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 a fudge, chocolate fudge uh, type mm. person. If it's dark enough, it's my love. Yes, we were talking, oh, we were talking on the way over here about what, what is Joy's part in all of this that's happened. And I said, well, you're like, you'll be like my mentor, my manager, and all that. And she said, no, no, no. I'm your PR person. She's my PR person. Because there's no managing him. There's no managing him. Oh, it sounds like an insult. What do you mean? out there. I was thinking, on his manager, she, so she said, PR person. And I said, yes, she's my mentor, PR, and best friend. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? So you ready to go in the store? Yeah. All right. Let me go put this ice cream in the car in the bag. In the bag and in here, it should stay. I'll be able to eat it quick later on. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm -mm. Besides, there could be a treat in that store. What I'll do is I'll wrap this with my napkins. that to insulate it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that. Teresa said so good seeing you all the other day. Yeah, we got to see Teresa and her husband, Terry. Oh, hey. Hopefully he's feeling good today because he thinks he got some food poisoning. He's been not he's been oh, heaving like, today. Like we did? Or like you did? Yeah. Oh man. I'm gonna go run to the corner. Yeah, everybody pray that uh, Teresa's husband Terry feels better because he thinks he had food poisoning today. Teresa said he is feeling somewhat better. Families are enjoying the uh, cornhole game. Hey, Nancy. Teresa said he still has a headache and not up to it. There's hammocks back there. You know, it's hard for me because I didn't finish my ice cream. It's like, something's wrong. <laughs> you didn't finish. Here's the discount section. Fifty to seventy-five percent off out here on these uh, clothing items. I don't think I had the stomach virus because I was better the next day. Can you hold this for me? Which one am I holding? This. It's, I wanna, well, if you like to show all the stuff, I want to I wanna, I wanna show this. Look at this, this is cute. A lifeboat. 
It's a raft. It's even got a paddles and everything. It's cute. And I it's think that's a really cute. Christmas ornament. Yeah. Life saving Christmas ornament. They have boots. Boots. Oh, Christmas is 75% off. Yeah. We may have to get one of those Christmas mushrooms. I don't want a mushroom. <laughs> They have, um... Yeah, I see the pine cones. The pine cones? That's actually kind of nice. What's the original price? Oh, it's down to $2. Let's see, what are these? Oh, a ham. It's a ham. It oh. looks like a shark tooth or something that came no, out of it. No, it's a ham. <laughs> what a ham. For your ice, this is for your pint of ice cream. This is for my pint of ice cream. Yeah. You put you wrap that around your pint of ice cream. Oh, See, yeah. it's one of those cozies, those cozy things, and it's got a. Um, You've got well, a miniature spoon. No, too. it's that's paper. Yeah, but it's that's, just to make a point. It make yeah, make a point. But anyway, that is a cozy for your pint of ice cream Does over there from the store. Does anybody on earth have an ice cream cozy? <laughs> uh, it's always gone before it's melted anyway. Oh, some big old Tonka trucks. Look at those. Oh. See, that was $65. Oh, it was $129. Now it's $65. Boy, that is a great little toy right there. I wonder if it's mechanical. Oh yeah, it's got a it's got a little bit of a mechanical feel to it. Ah. This is, says an air fort. Air fort. It's a mushroom house. It's got kids in there. <laughs> Does it see how big it is? Breathable fabric, light polyester, includes Velcro stickers to secure air fort to fan. Hey, Jimmy. My front row. Hey, Jimmy, I got a perfect construction uh, truck for you to take to work with you. Half price. $129 Tonka is now only $65. We're swinging around here. <laughs> These are pretty, the, the little vases are pretty. What some see, mommy vase, what some see as weeds, you can show them as I'm saying that. Others see as beautiful bouquets, handcrafted in the Smoky Mountains by Ogle Brothers Potters, this bud vase was specifically made to display the tiny wildflowers and dandelions picked by small muddy hands and given with love. It's an ideal gift for mothers, grandmothers, or anyone else lucky enough That's to good. receive such special flowers. I think Tara would agree, right? These tiny little vases. Oh, look at this one. Look at how fancy that one is. Look at that one. Oh, there goes the music. Okay, yeah, we got to move past that. That is, All right. let's go out. Let's go out while that's on. That music is on. Dum -dum 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 -dum. We got to watch out for that. The music wasn't on when I was in there, but all of a sudden it came on. <laughs> they have these nice big couches out front to swing around on the chain and take a nap. Tara said, hey man. <laughs> this is loud. Let's go over here.
they have cozy seats all around this place. Well, that one's still pretty close to the fan. You actually want to sit down and swing with everybody? Oh, there goes the roller coaster. Zippity zippity. Oh, oh, that's nice and soft. Sure. Well, you have to walk down the stairs and go that way, or we can go through the store, go out the other side. That oh. doesn't make anybody sick to go like this, does it? <laughs> Love swinging Kara on said, that huge swing, yeah. Kara said. Yeah. Hey, Mama too. <gasps> Thank you for your support. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, for a minute there I thought there was some place that did not have to have music. Larry. People are shopping. Anybody been having crazy dreams lately? I've been having the craziest dreams. My goodness, me and my mother was in one of them. I was like, holy smokes. And she was telling me to get out of the pool. And I couldn't get out because I was older now and not able to just jump out of a pool like a little kid. Push myself up off the side. I was like, ah. Couldn't get out of the pool. Okay, you want me to go check and see about the music again? Let's go look. I can still hear it. Okay. Hey, I wonder if we, I wonder if we'll, if we'll hold the signal if we show them that side of the uh, mountain coaster over there. Oh, it's up to you. I don't want to lose signals, but we'll see. Yep. Yeah, I was showing on the Skyline Ranch. And, uh... I don't think we can walk all the way over there, because I think I lose signal. But we can sh just, uh, at the, right here, at the end of the oh, building. You can look. You can hear me? What? I heard you. But you're gonna, whether I can hear you or not. Yep. Yeah, because you see, my picture will stay perfect, whether it's lost or not. So I can't tell if she's losing. Hello. But that is the up ramp right there for the coaster. That's when you're going slow, going up. It's a long trip up that way. Hold it steady. There goes somebody right there, going up. Yeah. Mm. And, and honestly, if you go on a day when it's not too busy and you let the person in front of you get ahead of you, you can go faster. They have a system that doesn't let that cart go too quick or let you rear end the person in front of you. It ends up ruining it for me because I'm getting going real fast and all of a sudden it's automatic brakes come on, slow me down because there's somebody in front of me. So, oh, there, see, that person's going a lot faster, but they have, they get slowed down by the electronics. And, uh, Darcy said those coasters are fun. Yeah, they are. Has anybody been on, uh, anybody in the chat been on the, uh, the Skyland Ranch coaster here? They say it's hey, the Jimmy. longest one. 
the I longest one in the Smokies? there's two of them because there's one here and there's one way over there and those are connected. Maybe they do have two, two so that you can take like one or another. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't been. Gio said he's been on this one. Do they have two coasters? Is it two? Um, is it two different coasters? Is it two different coasters or is it one big huge one? Or is it like one that takes you down, then it, you go to the other one, and then it goes back up again? Where there's two lifts? Because there's one complete one over there, too. One big one, Gio one said. This tree is just starting to get little buds on it. Little tiny buds on it. Barely getting little buds on it. He said two lift hills. Two lift. Hi, homesteading pastor. It's cold quick after the sun goes down. I smell somebody cooking something over at that restaurant. Boy, that smells good. It smells like ham, baked ham with cloves. Marie said um, she hasn't been on it, but Roy was on the goat coaster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one's over by um, Dollywood or New Version Alley. Is that the one with the big dinosaur? <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Annette. Hey, back to the cold weather. Is it ever warm up in Wisconsin? <laughs> Is anybody going to the um, going to travel to see the eclipse on Monday? Make sure you take your glasses. You know the. 3D glasses, was that what they're called? What are they called? Pol Pol Polaroid, Polaris, something. Anyway, Polaris they're special phone. glasses. Make sure you take your special glasses. Also, um, if you're gonna try to get it on your camera, you might wanna get some sort of a filter on your camera lens um, because you could hurt your camera Yep. Pointing and it at the sun say, like that. And on the day of an eclipse, there are 20% more car accidents on the day of on the days of eclipses. So, you know, people are freaking out. And it's because there's so much traffic, not because people are staring at the sky. Tara said they have to be NASA approved glasses. Yeah. Jimmy said he's got to work. They have you must have a filter for your camera also. Yeah, Tara agreed. Yeah, some people put a black dot right on the front of the camera. Darcy and them are out having dinner right now. She popped in here. And uh, I, I'm thinking a lot of people are going to try to live stream the eclipse you know on all kinds of platforms on TikTok, on instagram on facebook and on youtube anything that has a, a streaming service i'm thinking everybody there <laughs> a lot of people anyway are going to try to do that now your photographers are going to photograph it um your uh, some people might vlog it. It might be better if somebody's out there to just try to vlog it because honestly, so many people trying to stream it on a different, all kinds of platforms, it, they're not going to get a cell signal very well. It's probably just going to buffer a lot, oh, yeah. I'm thinking, because that's the way it is here in Gatlinburg. We, we go out and 
and it's really a bad signal, you know? <laughs> Rhonda said it's going to be busy that day, yeah. Yep. We're not going anywhere. Um, I think I think I think you can see it slightly from the corner of well, we can see it really of, good in Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah. We're gonna see it. Even my brother said that in Florida they're gonna see fifty percent. Tara Florida's said your eclipse glasses must say ISO one two three one two dash two to keep your eyes safe. We saw an Texas, eclipse. And my brother gets to see half of it. We're going to get a good good bit of it up here. We saw an eclipse in um, Florida. At least I did. I don't know. Donnie might have been working. Yeah, I saw it. Part of it. It's amazing. And they said the reason the eclipse was only 70 miles wide last time and it's 100 and something miles wide this time is because the moon is a different distance from the Earth this time, it's further away. Tara said, check your glasses before you go out by putting them on. If you see specks of light, um, then they must go to the trash. Yeah, mid, how about a welder's helmet? If you have a welder's helmet, can you look at the sun with your welder's helmet? Don't hurt your eyes and don't hurt your camera people don't hurt your camera or your eyes it's not worth it because somebody will post something online anyway that you'll be able to see regardless oh, yeah. and somebody will post how they went blind and if um that's a terrible thing to say if Sorry. um if there's clouds if there's clouds where you intend to go see it that'll mess up the That'll mess it up for your, for your viewing anyway, or your recording of it. So check the weather. I mean, you know, and there'll be so many people there, so many people there. And Donnie said, Donnie said, um, statistically, there are more accidents during an eclipse than other times. That's what he heard, anyway. And though, and they they'll put. Tara said, I, um, I just pray that there's not any clouds. <laughs> yeah. Tara said, I made a cool shirt to wear on Monday. It says the sun is getting mooned. <laughs> uh, Tara said, clouds come and go. So uh, if you're going to try to see it. Just see if it's going to be a real long cloudy day or something because you don't want to um, you don't want to deal with a lot of um, you know, a lot of aggravating stuff. You don't want to deal with a lot of aggravating stuff. Let's see if the music is gone. This is cute here. The, these bunnies. Those are so cute. Those are adorable. And then there's a bunny there. And then look at those bunnies there. Those are cute. Aww. Tiny chicks. Tiny chicks. I'm not gonna stand here long because the music's coming yeah, back so on. There's um, the bunnies, but I'm gonna go. No, that's that's a that's that music again. So I'm not gonna stay in here because it's it just gets a little louder after a while. That's the kind of place that you kind of gotta vlog because so that you can replace the music turn it down or whatever. You can't really do that on a live stream. They got, look at this hammock thing they have here. It's got, it's got um, like three hammocks on this stand. 
I've never seen one like that, a stand like that, that holds three hammocks like that. Where did he go? I don't know where he went. Rhonda said they're having company this evening. Let me go at the car. Thanks for joining us, Rhonda. Donnie must still be in that store. Sarah says, eat some more ice cream. <laughs> it's too cold for me to want ice cream. I don't mind eating ice cream if I'm inside. But eating ice cream when, it, when you're outside and it's cold. <laughs> Donnie, oh, I know what he's doing. He's in that store looking for some sort of treat for himself. That's what he's doing. He's coming now. He, I bet he got himself a treat. What'd you get? Well, if we're going to go to an unusual destination, we should get an unusual product. And this right here is sea salt turtle pecan Turn it popcorn. around. Turn it around and shut them. I'm Turn. going to as soon as I get the top off. This is called sea salt turtle popcorn. Look at that. From the Ugo Brothers. They make it themselves. And I got some of the hand cream too. The milk hand cream that smells like something. And, ooh, I just smell like a clean bathroom actually. Let's walk down there. Mm. Mm. Um, I think it's a it's a week from yesterday. It's a week from yes. It's on a Friday. There's pecans and like a Heath bar popcorn. Mm. Is it next week? Next Friday you're painting, mm -hmm. or the week after that? Okay. Both of them. Yeah. Next Friday and then the Friday following, he's going to be painting there. And then um, and watch for us to live stream it. My, yep. Like I said, I might do a vertical on one channel and a. Uh, horizontal on the other channel not sure not sure which will be which right now but mm. well it's like a heath bar and 
it's got this creamy white coating on it. <laughs> Punch buggy yellow. Yeah, that's my bug. The ingredients are about two inches long. Starting with the top one being popcorn. You would be surprised how many times that since I since I've had that car, but only here. I've never seen it like punch bug you mean? Yeah, like yeah. Any, anywhere else. And anywhere. I don't see anyone else I've doing that, but it. only here in the Smokies. When I people see are people in vacation doing that. mode or something. Back up, so like, all they oh. can see is your vest. Oh, okay, here I am. I wasn't sure which way the screen was pointing. Yep. Just about the time you're tired of the hot, it starts getting cool. Look at that. Mm. It's hard to focus on it. Heath bar, caramely coffee. Huh. It's hard to focus on it. He vlogged a coffee. What was that? Coffee popcorn? Hey, Space Man. Yeah. Coffee flavored popcorn in Gatlinburg. And this is way better than that. It's got the chocolate and everything in it. Huh. Ryan Mira said, don't crack your teeth. It's not really hard, is it? Don't talk with my mouthful either. I saw a Lamborghini today. It's amazing. Think about what you could buy with two hundred thousand dollars a home and everything else like that. I want a home. I mean, somebody drives by with a car that costs more than that. I'd rather have that money for a home, honestly. Uh huh. We're coming up on the end ten times, people. Do everything for the future. Raise your children like you would train your employees. This is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Only $5. It's got, did you say peanut butter? Hmm? Pecan. I don't like pecans, but I like well, the chocolate. It doesn't chocolate. seem to have any big pecans in it. It's like that chocolate. It's like that milk it's, chocolate. And it's got that white chocolate too. Milk whatever. chocolate and, well, yeah, white chocolate, milk chocolate and. Notice how she grabbed the bag. Dark chocolate. She's fishing out the good stuff. That's all right. I didn't eat ice cream. <laughs> I that will just be the bad, I'm bad cleanup. No problem. I'm glad to be here with you. Thanks for sharing your day with us. We get to be in the mountains and uh, share it with you. Um, I don't know, three years ago, we never knew anybody. And uh, YouTube's a lot more editing and a lot more people know. So, I think a lot of people... Very hard. I said, a lot of people that want to start YouTube, they don't really have a concept of how challenging it is to create a channel and edit and do all those things. Sometimes, like, what was it, today or yesterday? Yesterday. You were angry today. today. I, was, I was frustrated. Today. I was frustrated because I'm trying to put my stuff on my phone to edit it and send stuff over to my computer so I can upload it. It was like a dinosaur sending it. It was taking an unbelievable amount of time just to send it over to my computer and then it kept, it kept failing. It kept failing to send it. And I was like, I was like, that's frustrating. <laughs> that is very, very frustrating, you know, mm. so. I think that's why a lot of people don't put out edited videos. They'll either put out one video, one take, and upload it, 
or they'll do a live stream one take and, and it's uploaded as they're doing it and they don't put out any edited content but it's a it's it's a challenge to do that enjoy the good things on this earth that it has to offer things are starting to wind up not towards just the end of the week but the end of history things are really coming together calendars and everything so you know it's like being ready for jesus be ready for jesus just you know, say forgive everybody and, and have a good attitude and love everybody I'm trying to get the chocolate please <laughs> you give me the other ones <laughs> roy marie said youtube no way not for us yeah it is hard uh -huh. we want you to have you know, be rest assured that you know Jesus. You're not just, oh, I'm a Christian, but Romans 10, 9, 10. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is my Savior. If you do not want to go through what's coming, and the reason he is your Savior is because you avoid it with him. Remember that. Hopefully, Gio, being a member of our channel, that when new people come in, maybe some of them will click on your channel and go over there, you know? Because I have the, um, I have his channel dropped and other members of our channel, uh, the, the people that have paid to be members, I have a link to their channel to be dropped as a thank you, you know? And so hopefully at some point, some people might click on it you know, and go over there and subscribe. Mm -hmm. um, we should have a loop plan. I don't know how to do it. Joy knows how to do it. We'll plan a live stream sometime with our members that have channels of their own. So that we'll have a panel and we'll all talk about our channels. That'll work out wonderful. You know, there's other channels that do that. But we've gone on live on their channel. They said, come on, our channel, talk about your channel. And I don't do a lot of panels normally. That's For one thing is because I noticed that a lot of people that do panels, um, sometimes it's easy for people to talk over each other. Oh, on the panels? Uh-huh. It's hard to know when, someone, when someone's about to talk. We deal with that, just the two of us. Who, me? He's hard of hearing. No. So he won't notice when I'm talking, or when I'm about to talk. Right. He'll keep going. And of course, I only interrupt her. She never starts talking when I'm talking. Well, you can talk, talk, talk the whole hour, obviously, because you do it on Team Jesus. Yep. So, I have to get in there. <laughs> Somewhere. I have to get in there. Every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> But she depends on me to be talkative. She has to go check something out or like go get the ice cream. I like this vest too that Donnie yeah. got me for um, mm. is it, is it something it West. On, on, um, it's um, yeah. We it got was, it on the um, chili. Stages West. Stages West. The truck wagon um, contest. It's like um, quilted. It's quilted. It's got a zip. It's got a little zipper pocket right here on the inside, and then it's got big pockets on the outside here. These are these are really large pockets right here, and uh, and then the collar is just high enough that it can help keep the back of your neck warm and stuff. Yeah. So. It's not heated, but it, it's warm. It's quilted. You know, it's quilted, so it's warm. It's very Western. Yeah, we got it from the Western store. When we went to the Chuck, Chuck Wagon Cook-Off, we got it before we went to the Chuck Wagon Cook-Off, because this is actually the best I had, and um, his was ripped. So I told him, you know, just start wearing mine. 
and he gets food on it. <laughs> I am so guilty of so many things. Honest to God, yeah. I thank you, Lord, for forgiving me and loving me and, and for you loving me and you guys loving me. Oh, yeah. you know? Gio, are you going to the eclipse? It, um, Roy Maria said, asked if Gio has um, sunglasses for the eclipse. Tara has yep, the we got them, he says. Wow. Tara has the information on what the uh, what the glasses are supposed to be. So how much did you pay for glasses you will use for 30 seconds once in your life? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Well, it'll be longer than 30 seconds because I think it's three minutes or something. Don't don't don't. He'll be vlogging it. Do you have a filter for your uh, camera too? Yeah, he'll have to hook his camera up to his glasses. You don't have one for your camera. Spaceman said he has Eclipse glasses, but some medical doctors are suggesting people to not look at it due to medical problems it could cause. Yeah, like I can't see. Gio said he thinks that they'll get about the about they'll see about thirty percent of it down there. Oh, only thirty. He's in South Carolina. I'd watch it with the, from a collection on a bucket of water for only 30%, not a pair of glasses. I think when I wa watched it in Florida, I watched it in the reflection of my car window. Or something like that. Yeah. That's what I did. I, I, look, I had my... A lot I, less expensive than them glasses. Yeah, I was looking <laughs> through the reflection of Sorry, my car you. window. Yeah. But it is a one-time-in-a-lifetime event. You know, it, it, to have it even, I mean, there'll be more of them, but this is the one that counts. This is the one that, by the way, Monday is the Hebrew New Year. Amazing that God is planning a eclipse on a new year. Oh, I'm telling you, oh, it's going it, to be a big day. And it it um, it is going through, I, I checked again, they said 11 Ninevehs. It's, it's crossing yep. over 11 towns Nineveh. They're yep. called Nineveh. The last one went over seven towns named Salem. And so the last time was peace. This time is Jonah. They said, what was the sign of Jonah? They said the sign of Jonah was an eclipse. That was the sign of Jonah because there was an eclipse when Jonah, right went, before Jonah showed up. went to Nineveh. Yep. There was an eclipse. It's very interesting when you look at it through, you know, the lens of um, a biblical perspective it's just that's we've been watching different people talk about it and stuff like that not any specific one person we, I've, I've been watching various different ones yep. talk about it and stuff and uh, it's very interesting Monday will be 10 days from the resurrection and 40 days to Pentecost and how long did he give Nineveh a chance to repent 40 days America's got a crossroads. Those two, those two eclipses are not doing a cross on America because X marks the spot judgment. No, it's a crossroads. It is time for America to change its direction. This is God's warning. Things are changing. And, and it doesn't mean that it, that people have 20 days or 40 days or whatever. I don't. We don't know what God is doing. But I think this. I think this is like the start of something, is what I think. I think this particular eclipse is the start of something for God to be bringing something in. But I heard a, a, a minister that was teaching on it, he, um, a pastor, and he said that he believes there'll be uh, two years of plenty, and then after that, a, a famine like, um, like America hasn't really seen since maybe the Great Depression or whatever. So, in his in his um, uh, belief, he's teaching people to stock up during the two years of abundance to stock up, and then you, you know, because you never know when you would be able to help your loved ones if you stock up during a time of abundance, regardless of anything else. If if the weather is going to be really bad and someone's going to get a hurricane or a tornado come through or whatever, 
and you happen to have stocked up stuff, you could help your loved ones, you could help your neighbors, whatever. It would be the same thing if there was a famine. You would have to prepare ahead of time. Just like Joseph, because Joseph did it, right? Joseph prepared seven years in abundance for a famine because he had belief in his heart that something that there was a need. But no, the, the Pharaoh had a dream that there would be seven years of plenty and seven years of famine, and Joseph knew what to do. So he stocked up. He stocked so up. So if you prepared during a time of abundance, you could be a Joseph to your neighbors, your loved ones, you know, and uh, God could just use you in that kind of a way. You just never know, you know? That's how Egypt became rich, by the way. Because as people were running out of food, they kept coming to Egypt because they had the food. And they were buying the grain with their money at first. Then they were buying the grain for their property as the plague passed along. And then by the time of the end of the seven years, they were enslaving themselves for food selling themselves and I don't mean selling into some kind of trafficking I'm talking about selling as in I will be your servant I will be your worker in the field for food and so that's how Egypt got control of the whole area because they had the food by the time that seven years was over Egypt was full of money and everyone else was out of pocket was penniless because they had the food so you have the food have the food get that big bag of beans make sure it's in an area where bugs can't get to it because people have stocked up for storms, but then the storm soaked everything they stocked up. Or buy you know, totes, buy totes, bug, big, yeah. big, big totes. Bug if you and, have bug a, and rodent proof. If you have a basement, yeah, and that you can stack or something. If you know, if you, because it, it doesn't hurt you any. It doesn't hurt anything to to prepare ahead of time for. You know, in case any kind of natural disaster or anything came up, it doesn't hurt anything to prepare. You just want to, like you said, have it be, yes. have it be secured in such a way that it's not going to get wet, or the bugs aren't going to eat it. You know what I mean? But yep. And and and, if, and it just be, you know, it's the weekend. I would take out a little extra out of that ATM if I were you. You know, to to get you. To make sure, just in case people's debit cards don't work for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, you never know. Well, he, the thing of it is, is he's he's thinking about. He's not thinking about if the eclipse would do something. He's thinking it's about so, right. if the GOV, if the GOV would um, or do something, something else, you know. You know. You know, any kind of cyber attack can come at any time. I think I saw a beacon. I, I don't know. I don't think I have any because... Nope. Hey, Eddie. All right. I looked to see Eddie thought we um, Eddie thought we um, accidentally blocked him, but I had looked. I looked on YouTube, and his name wasn't on there. And I looked on Google, and his name wasn't right. on there. So, I think it was a uh, a glitch. I think it was you, Eddie. I think it was a glitch because. Um, um, Gail Southern Living today was trying to chat in on another channel and she couldn't even chat in. She couldn't chat in at all. And then later on, and then I called her and left her a message because um, the, the channel, Jamie's uh, Country Living, she was saying, wanted to get a hold of Gail. And I said, well, I'll try to call her and leave her a message, you know, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, could be a glitch that YouTube is messing things up. I don't know. Oh. Geo said, take the bag back inside and ask for a refill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about a hot, hot coffee or something. I'm cold. And the, hot, the hot chocolate was kind of lukewarm, lukewarm. But it tasted good. It wasn't like a cold uh, chocolate milk. It tasted good. Actually. So, Eddie said it's not putting my words in right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you speaking them or Tara, maybe you're 
the phone doesn't have a southern dialect. Tara says, Gio, uh, Donnie should say, um, there was a hole and it fell out. <laughs> yeah. He ripped a hole in the top. <laughs> um. Wow, well, we appreciate you all being here. I'll tell you, it's a beautiful night with a cloud in the sky. Let's show them the view. The is leaving quickly. Let's show them the view again. Oh, sure. Show them the view again. Tara said it doesn't type her emojis. It's uh, yeah, that's the Skyland uh, Hi, poster Anne. and seats. We'll show you the mountains here. Tara in a had um, it looks like a, a beaver and a heart. <laughs> you want to walk it or you want me to walk it? What's that? I've been losing a little bit of weight, trying to be healthy, working hard, and I went from having a 10 pounds of potatoes in a 10 pound sack to a 8 pounds of potatoes in a 10 pound sack. And I don't know what to do with my skin. <laughs> you shouldn't have a trouble, Eddie, because you're um, a wrench, so you shouldn't have a trouble. <laughs> the mountains never disappoint. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue Jeep, beautiful blue Jeep, not a cloud in the sky, gorgeous. I think the only place this area, the only thing in this area that it's missing is a place to go and watch the sunset. If there was just a place to go and watch the sunset, I think that would be crowded. Watch out for that. I'd like to have mountain views um, uh, uh, Donnie, with Donnie and I, he said, I'd love to have um, sunrise views and sunset views. <laughs> well, I am more of a sunset guy, though. And um, a mountain stream would be nice. Yeah. A creek, something. You know, I think there's another uh, jacket in the car. Anne said, we love our Appalachian mountains. I have time to go get my jacket real quick. I got to move in. So it's good ice cream. You could call that Sunset Mountain over there. They're just slowly eating that mountain up. Enjoys. Oh, why don't you show them your cards again? Let's show them our new business cards that we're doing. Uh, Joy's been taking some, quite uh, some time here uh, developing our new business cards. And for those of you just joining us, I have an opportunity to paint. So Joy is using that as an opportunity to develop a business card where storytellers on one side and she's on the other side. Um, Tara put in her her thing of what she wants in a in her in her home. Tara says, "I want running water, electricity, natural gas, fiber internet, best cell service possible in my next house." <laughs> <laughs> so everything on the inside has to matter. It doesn't really matter what's outside the window. Well, when you don't have cell service, you've got a sunset. When you don't have electricity, you've got a sunrise. <laughs> okay, so. 
So yeah, let me let me show you what card she did for me. She did my Easter painting. I have to see what I'm doing here. I put in his I put in his um painting as the background for his storyteller Donnie channel. He wanted it to say um, that he was a painter. It's got the little um, painting palette thing over here. And of course the crosses, because this was the painting we gave away for Easter. He wanted a picture. He kind of wanted it to be like a caricature, but I, I kind of um, I kind of tuned. This is a picture we just had taken together. She gave me these, this Fu Manchu mustache. Well, I, it, what I did was I put it in a tune app, a tune app, so that it, because he kind of wanted it like a caricature, but it's not exactly like a caricature, but it's oh, like I a, like the first it's one. like I a tune, like a country singer on that. A tune, and then um, he wanted me in the picture with him. So, he said he wanted every, he wanted every uh, one to know that he had. He had a uh, woman in my life. A woman in his life. Okay. Yep. Right from the get go. So it's going to be back and uh, double sided. So that's one side. And then this is the other side that's got my nature channel on it and um, Smoky Mountain Blessed. Uh, what they want Donnie to paint up there is um, they want him to look at the mountains and paint the mountains. <laughs> and we're going to pick it out was, a spot too. It's because Geo goes. We look younger than it. Uh, it's because um, I used a t an app that's that's called uh, Tune Me. Tune Me. The app is called Tune, oh. Tune Me. So I look. Geo. Gio! <laughs> uh, hey, Jim. My friend! My friend! I did get the card. I, I was gonna um, bring the cards, but I forgot to bring the cards with me. And, oh, oh uh, yeah, she opened up her birthday stuff. I, I did get the card from Spaceman, and there's a card, I think, from Rhonda, too, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. who else? I, um, yeah. I didn't look at the return address. I just noticed he had like three or four cards. Spaceman said, kind of like a character. Donnie's a character, a cross between Mr. Magoo and Felix the cat. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Magoo, you've done it again. Oh, that was Jim Backus. His voice was Mr. Magoo. What we decided, what, what the idea I came up with when we were having breakfast at the pancake pantry, uh, um, celebrating my birthday, um, after we stayed in the uh, hotel, is I told Donnie, I said, what if we took a painting that he does, and what if we um, uh, donate it to the national park so that it can raise money for the national park? And um, they said they said that they had been wanting to do something to connect and raise money for the national park, but they hadn't done it yet. And and I and I had no idea they wanted to do that. I just came up with that idea. It came to my heart, and you know, with me and the Aspergers and the Nature Channel and everything, I, I love the national park. I love nature. Love giving away. And and we yeah, we're givers. So I said, what if we do what if we take his painting and donate it so that they can sell it or whatever they do, I don't know, they could auction it off, they could sell it, they could do whatever. And it raises money that they can take that money and donate the money to the national park. Something like that. So they loved they they really liked that idea that because they they wanted to make a connection with the national park, and they don't want to be, they don't want, 
The, the Sky Park does not want to be like Anakista. They said Anakista is kind of like a theme park, and it's got all these things for families and kids and everything like that. And they said they don't want their park to be like a theme park. They want their park to be more like a nature park where you can go up. Now, they, they are going to have restaurants and stuff, but they want you to be able to go up there, sit down and enjoy nature. They want you to um, be able to um, sit there and eat and enjoy the nature of the mountains. And that's their goal. So that's one thing they liked about Donnie's paintings is he likes to paint the mountains and all mm -hmm. of this kind of stuff, you and know. I was thinking too, if, if there's, a, if I do get, and I still call it lucky because of my lack of training, but if I do get lucky and really do a good painting, then maybe they would even have an auction for it, for raising money. Or they would have a thing where everybody gives $5, make it a, what do you call that, a raffle. Raffle it off for five dollars a ticket. That could really raise a lot of money if it's a beautiful painting. So These are just it. ideas that Donnie had when it came to how yeah, they could how they Utah. could do it. You know, um, yeah. because they wouldn't need to have they wouldn't need to let them the painting wouldn't necessarily have to go that day. They could take in money all week long or or however yeah. they want it, and when they get a certain amount. Then they, um, yeah. then they pulled the a raffle. Yeah. You know. Like one paint, you know, and it they could do it any, like, any way. One of the regular paintings would be sold every week, and then another. But there would be one painting that would hang on for a while and be a raffle or an auction. Jim said, "Can Donnie uh, do a not good painting? Nah, no chance. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh, it's very That's sweet. sweet, Jim. I'll show you some of my not good ones if you ever want to see them, because they're in a bag <laughs> somewhere." He's still working on some paintings that, are, you know, That's some of his, up. some of his originals, working on them. Yep, we're watching the sun go down on Purple Mountain's Majesty. Yeah. Yep, Gatlinburg was just too busy today, so we enjoyed our time with you here. Well, I like to mix it up. I like to mix it up, you know, on where, where we go live and stuff, so. people go by riding in the sky we haven't done Skyland yet we're planning on doing that uh, next time they have a special and a special event we'll probably get our tickets for that lately it seems life's been pretty expensive we haven't had the extra oh I did ask though um, one of the things Tara and I have been praying about concerning the Sky Park for a long time is whether or not they would do season passes or an annual pass or whatever. And so off camera, I did ask him about that. And he said that, um, that he is, he said that they are, they have been talking about it. They have been talking about it because of the expansion. Um, because of they're putting in the restaurants and um, they're built, they're they're expanding it, you know, put, putting in on the other side of the bridge. That's where they're going to put the Smoky Mountain Smash Burgers. Um, and right now they're currently building out a seating area there, just like on the front side of the um, bridge. They're building a seating area and a platform on the back side of the bridge. And then, um, after that, they're, they're going to be building another restaurant um, behind that building that's over there on the other side of the bridge. And then, he, he gave us a scoop, 
And he said after the, after it's that, uh, he doesn't he doesn't know when it's going to happen, but he said they are going to be putting in another bridge on beyond that. So he said, this is a scoop for you. <laughs> and, and, and one of the things we can we'll be suggesting is that when you have a season pass and you have guests come into town, where are you going to take them? You know, they probably want to go up there, but you don't want to spend the money to go back up there again with them. But this way, everybody can go up together because you've got your season pass. We, we do that with the other park. We go, hey, we've got yeah. season passes. You come into Dollywood, you come into Anakista, we'll be there for you. We've got season passes. We'll probably get, uh, Tara said that uh, uh, Skyland Ranch has season pass, annual passes too, yeah. We'll probably get annual passes here to Skyland. We just haven't done it yet. Um, and then we do have our season passes for Dollywood. We've got our annual passes for Anakista, and we and this year was the first year we got annual passes to Ripley's. Yeah. And to all and we did the whole Ripley's whole shebang Ripley's all of them. And so. Um, Enjoying the aquarium. So far, we've just gone to the aquarium, mm -hmm. but we're going to do the other things too, except for the haunted. We're we're not haunted. Uh, we're not the haunted people. No invitations, that please. <laughs> but we are going to do the other various things there. And one thing I'm looking and excited about is the Ripley's uh, Davy Crockett Golf. Ripley's Davy Crockett Golf. Tara said the Skyland annual pass was reasonably priced. Yeah, and there's yeah. a um, there's some stuff up here soon that we want to do. Um, over here at the Skyland, so we'll probably get them pretty quick. We'll probably get them pretty quick. Um, get the coat. I was going to get my coat. Okay, you go said ahead. We we're almost done. Well, it's so sunset. Go ahead and get it. We're going to show. We're showing the sunset right now. Walk around and see the sunset. Tara said, "Joy, do not do the movement ride. It's too much." The Ripley's Mountain Coaster was nice. The spaceman uh, said he watched my um, car hauler video of the of the double decker elevate, elevator car hauler, and they had they put three cars in there, two at the top, and then one at the bottom, and then. Um, in the front part of the bottom was some of their other equipment and stuff that they have. That's the first time I've ever seen an elevator, an elevator in a car hauler. Donnie and I have two car haulers, but they're they're the kind you just drive it, drive your car into it. It's not, it's not, um, it's not an elevator. <laughs> Spaceman said, I just wonder how they get out of the car when it's in the hauler. I think it was tricky. I think it was very tricky because the top of the car hauler had like, um, it had like a place for their tires, for their Mustang, and they drove across that and then they got to get out on the, in that tight little, it's a tight space. So, yeah, to open the door, squeeze themselves out of a Mustang and then and then get out. That was that was something. Sun is off the mountains now. It has dipped below the horizon. And with no clouds to reflect That's a off of. I thought you were getting a coat. This is what I grabbed. No, I didn't have a coat in the car. I had this in the car. In case it got cold. And it got cold. And I appreciate everybody that goes and hits the play on my videos appreciate it so much because oh, that, yeah. that's that's my, my thumbs up the ad revenue for me is my little bit of income that um, that we use to uh, put back into the channel and it's you your know, like bucket and help help um, uh, you know buy our passes to go to these places you know to bring the videos to all of our viewers and things like that. 
<sighs> if I wasn't a YouTuber, I don't know that I would do all the things that I do, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a, um, it's a good reason to get me out doing things. Is, yes. Is um, That's another being a YouTuber. I, I used to, in Florida, I just stayed in the house all the time. Unless I got into the pool. Hey, you're not eating. My channel coming up on the screen. Yeah, I don't see it. Uh, it didn't go through. There it is. It's in now. The kids got into the the kids got into the uh, the truck there. of emergency they have no plans no plans to take customers up the mountain um, they said the buses are there in case of an emergency to take people down the mountain so now it's going to, <laughs> now it's going to re <laughs> and um, you want to show these buttons? and then they had um, Spaceman said, thanks, Donnie. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. Well, there's one more look at the mountains before they go away for the night. Let me sit it down here. <sighs> oh, a flock of geese coming over. And then um, they're building this long trail, a hiking trail. And they said it's very, very, very serious cardio. So they do not recommend. Uh, they do not recommend people walking up the hiking trail. They said it's for walking down because it's such a serious, deep hike and stuff. Spaceman wants to know what's for supper. Oh yeah. Anybody anybody want to share with Spaceman what's for supper? Uh, we're having tacos. Taco, taco, taco. Because we're doing the 93% um, uh, or 7%, you know, whatever it is, ground beef, 97% fat-free or whatever, which is very boring ground beef, by the way. It's not a very juicy burger but it's healthy for you. And you've got a lot, it's, it's half the calories, half the fat, and it's really good for you. And, and that's what you have to do. You have to make chili with it. You have to make spaghetti with it. You have to make tacos with that meat. Makes great taco meat and, uh, and all those flavored ground beefs. It's just not that good for a burger. Although I'll tell you how to make a 93% hamburger um, not be uh, all dried out and that is you, you you do it thin so that it cooks really quick and you 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 grout you get it cooked really thick by doing it thin and then you flip it over and as soon as you flip it over you turn the heat off and you let it go just another minute and then you put it on your burger because uh, the the thicker burgers I'm telling you they're just like trying to eat leather once they once they cool off Hi, Kevin. Um, Kevin. 
Roy and Maria said they had Culver's for dinner, Spaceman. Spaceman said taco sounds good. He said wife and I went to the Firehouse Barbecue. <laughs> Tara said they had steak, baked potato, broccoli, banana split pie. Banana split pie. pie. Wow. Never heard of a banana split pie. That sounds awesome. So, Kevin, you just came in, but I'm going to tell you the new, the uh, the news, the the uh, the news that we have. Um, storyteller Donnie um, had a door open for him when we went to do Easter vlog Easter up at the uh, the Sky Park um, in Gatlinburg. We were talking to the manager and interviewing him, and. Um, he opened up a door for Donnie to come do his painting up there uh, next Friday. And then the following Friday, for a couple weeks, he gets to come up there and paint it. And they said we can live stream it and everything. And um, so that's an open door for Donnie to be able to um, paint in front of a live audience, if there's anybody up there, um, you know, for that event and then uh, raise the money if there's any if the painting um, if they want to take the painting and we want to donate it so the national park can get any kind of proceeds if the if the painting sells we want the national the money to go to the national park which they thought was a great I, um, idea because they wanted to connect to the national park um, uh, they don't want to yep. make their park like Anakista. Anakista is more like a theme park and fun things for kids. They want it to be um, a nature experience of coming up there, having something to eat, sitting down, enjoying the mountains, enjoying nature and all of that kind of stuff. So that's exciting. Um, that's exciting for us to see this oh, door I couldn't opening sleep when for she, Donnie. When she called me back and it looked like it was really, I mean, everybody talks about that kind of stuff, but when her, his PR manager called me back, Christine, she, I realized this is really going to happen. I couldn't get to sleep that night. <laughs> it was 2 o'clock in the morning. And I, I was like, oh, my goodness, a hundred things going through my head. Can I really do this? Am I good enough? You know, but they said something very positive to me. They said, you um, compliment our mission. I think the word wasn't compliment, though. But you, you, what was it? You're, you are, you fit our mission. Fit. You fit our mission. Because she said, wouldn't you like to walk down a mountain trail and see a painter working on a painting? What would you do? You know, you, you'd stop and watch a little bit. So... Space. And this, it's not about the money. They're not paying. I mean, not that they, they offered to cover my expenses, but it, it's, it's not about the money. It's to see if this is, could be a draw. What if I could really help them draw more people up there? I'd be so honored. Spaceman said on, um, on Tuesday, he passed out and fell against the bathtub. Jesus. We are praying for Spaceman's diet. We are praying we are for praying his for eat, space the, eat the right things. Diet. Thank you, Jesus. They are not a slave to their bodies, but they are healthy and they are hydrated and they are eating properly in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, it could be the elevation too, right, Spaceman? Yeah, it could be the elevation because you're a thousand feet higher than us or 980 feet or something. Thank you. Did you get hurt, Spaceman? Yeah, you okay? Did you bounce? You bounced, right? You did okay? Hey, the lights came on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We pray for safety over in your home. Jimmy said it's and in your driving. Your opening doors. Yeah. Yeah. We, we in, pray for Spaceman and Becky and all of our viewers that let us know that they have a prayer need. Um, we pray for them. We pray. But we had wonderful success agree, with Diane Phoenix. Everyone agree that um, that the Lord shows Spaceman and Becky um, uh, uh, 
good foods to eat that taste good because um, sometimes sometimes um, the ingredients in some foods that are out there can be harmful. Donnie got ice cream, Jim Forbes, and a mint, and I got um, a hot chocolate. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't hot. It was warm. <laughs> it was very warm, like, uh, like not even real warm. Slightly. Oh, you mean warm. lukewarm that you should have spit out and took back, but you didn't. No, I just drank it. It didn't even melt the ice cream I put in it. Doesn't that sound good to get a, a hot chocolate and a pint of mint ice cream and put some of that mint ice cream in that hot chocolate to cool it down and give it a minty flavor? Oh, that was a great idea. I would do that again any day. I don't see Spaceman commenting, so he might... He might have just made it. Had to might. go. Okay, he said, okay, he said he has a bruised backside. Spaceman said... He had a bruised backside and shoulder is sore. He said, no need for the hospital. Wife wants um, me to get my heart checked. When I had the, uh, the COV, the doctor said the heart could have been uh, having issues from that. Huh. Pray for those valves. We pray for the valves of your heart and the vessels in your body, arteries and blood vessels in your body to be properly constricted and, and, and uh, the electrical functions of your heart be in order as they were created to be in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And, and, and you, take, you take part in your health. Don't, don't let your body run your life. Let's walk over here to this side for a few minutes. I want to put this down here. So. Trying to avoid the poles. <laughs> Spaceman, um, if you put Ben Gay on the bruises, that can help them to heal faster. If you put some Ben Gay. And fade quicker. Yeah, yeah it, it'll help them to fade quicker, it'll help them to heal faster, it'll decrease the pain. Uh, if you get if you fall and get a bruise you should try to put do that as quickly as you can put some sort of like Bengay type cream on it very very quickly because there's something in it something in the ingredients that actually really help it uh, to uh, diminish the bruising and uh, heal up quicker uh, less less painfully than if you don't do that Tara said um, AFib has a, um, a gap between heartbeats, which makes uh, people pass out or lose their balance and fall. Tara said that a lot of people have been dealing with a AFib um, issues after they um, after the COV and the VAX. Huh. Uh. That's sad. But we bless your heart, spaceman, in the name of Jesus. We bless your heart. Bless your darling heart. <laughs> uh. 
wonder what it's going to take. We're going to come over there one of these days, spaceman. We're going to come over to your side of town. <laughs> We're going to come to your side of town. Your side of the mountain. We're going to come over to your side of the mountain. Yeah, look in your pantry. <laughs> Tony wants to look in your pantry and, and see what you don't need to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Tara said she knows five or six people that live near her that had this happen to them after the COV and the VAX. Thank you. Oh, we can see. That sky looks almost a little purplish right in there. See at the lower level, it almost looks a little purplish at the bottom, and then it goes up to blue at the top. Let's bring your camera. Yeah. There are certain places we could go on the way home where we can see a sunset on a clear night. Uh, I don't see a cloud in the sky right now. Not so one. The You're Smoky not Mountains. The Smoky we Mountains do not look smoky right now. We have red on the horizon. We just sits on the other side of the building and on the other side of the mountain. We'd have to drive somewhere to see it. Yeah. I'd be glad to drive you Space in my nice Man warm said, car. Spaceman said, I promise there's no little Debbie or Pop-Tarts in the house. Oh. I've got grapes and plums, though. That's good, Spaceman. Good man. Yay. Because Spaceman, you know, always used to talk about... Pop tarts and little Debbies. <laughs> yep. I'm glad to see you're free from that grandchild. <laughs> Roy and Marie wants to know if you have chips in there, spaceman. Get do pot sweet potato chips if you want chips. Yep. Or veggie chips, sweet potato or veggie chips. It's healthier for you if you do that. Yeah. Healthier than potato chips, we like baked baked you know baked um, sweet potato chips or baked veggie chips. Healthier option if you want to. And, and talk to yourself positive too and say, I am weak, I am strong, I am not weak. I have a good heart. And it will function in Jesus' because name. Because God, God said, created it. Where I am weak, the yeah, where you're you are strong. Because He makes us strong. Amen. Nothing by any means so hard. Nothing by any means so hard. Roy Maria said they love kettle chips. <laughs> oh, I do. I, I had to stop chips though because of my uh, sodium, sodium sensitivity. Um, yeah, and uh, Luke, Luke, uh, memorize uh, Luke ten nineteen. Nothing by any means shall harm me. Nothing by any means shall harm me. God give me a hunger for those things that are good, and a disdain for those things that would harm me. But you know this may be out of your hands. It could be the effects of something else. Or the CO, but it doesn't matter. COV, no, it doesn't it matter really now. It does we not have prayed. matter. The effects of what the COV or the VAX, the VAX have yes. done. VAX. X, they call it? Yeah. Okay. I was spelling and it. Anyway, um, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Because the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is all we need. It's all we have and all we need the blood of jesus he he came to heal us he sent his, the bible says he sent his word to heal us by his stripes we are healed so all we all have to do is just receive that receive that tara said scott and i eat a lot of popcorn Roy and Maria said they try not to buy a lot of kettle chips. Uh, they want to know what my favorite snack is. <laughs> What's my favorite snack? Oh, the root chips. No. That, he, he, I told him to buy no more because I eat like a whole bag. Then I would say Reese's Cups. Reese's Cup is one of my favorite snacks. A Reese's Cup. Yeah. Or some sort of chocolate. Also, one of my other favorite things, too, as far as candy is concerned, is um, Jelly Bellies. I love Jelly like the fruit flavor of Jelly Bellies. We get them from... Yeah, I love that. 
we get the the regular bags are terribly expensive so we go when we go to Cracker Barrel they, they have a contract for belly flops which are the ones that are stuck together and not the right shape and didn't make get me the a belly flop. <laughs> and those belly flops are good that's regular jelly, it's jelly a big bellies. Bag. It's a big bag it's for less price. money. Yeah, big bag for less money. That's a good, pick that up. I would say she you can't can resist that. that. that she can't resist barrel. Reese cups, mint ice cream. What other kind of snack? My seat. Donnie and I really both. Snack. Donnie and I both like like a mint chocolate. Um, Melt away. Mint, mint chocolate. Uh, what was that? Uh, was it Russell Stover that used to make that? Like Mint that? meltaways, yeah, little squares. No, no, the, the oh. like the, the, it was like Art? a candy bar. It was a whole big candy bar. Was that Russell Stover or something else? It was, we used to get the mint chocolate. It was a whole candy bar. Right. It's like French Dove. No, oh, Dove. It was yeah. a whole candy bar. It was. The Dove was a whole candy bar, yeah. And then, um, yes, and, uh, and then um, we both like lemon. So oh, something yeah. with lemon flavor. Donnie is can eat a lot more different things than me, but um, we both like the, the flavor of lemon, and um, we both like mango. But it's my thing, like a, a mango slushy. Mango or habanero barbecue sauce. Oh, the mango. Buffalo wings. I love mango. With the buffalo on the label. Well, that's some awesome stuff. And there's a mango at uh, the Pepper Palace. There's a mango barbecue sauce. It has a letter C on it, and oh, is that hot and good. We just had a mango at, where was it at? It was at, um, it was at Gatlinburg. Yeah, it was in Gatlinburg. We went to the, uh, this place that has uh, Was dessert. it Mayfields? Uh, yeah, it was Mayfields. Mayfields. And, uh, Mayfields ice cream. has a yeah. good mango slushy. And, so and then there's, there's the, another place on Gatlinburg that has a right. good Right, it's, it's the uh, mango coffee slushy. shack. The coffee shack has a really good yeah, was, mango slushy too, delicious. Yeah, it was about a dollar or more at the mango, but it was it was real mango. It was really and good. it was very... Icy good. Very, a lot of mango taste in there. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I'm a fruit person. My go-to snack, I would say, over anything else, is probably fruit. If there's fruit around, um, I definitely want to grab some of the fruit. <laughs> More than anything else. Yeah, love, I love fruit. I don't know what's going on with that noise but we pray life peace come for the holy ghost signs wonders and miracles of whatever that siren is going off for in the name of jesus yep okay well it's pretty dark now yep on the other side of the mountain maybe skyland this skyland ranch probably has a beautiful sunset because they have a view here just hold it and we'll say good night Thank you Thank all you. for joining us. For joining us. <laughs> and um, we hate to say goodbye. Our time with you is ending, but not the time of Jesus. He is with you always. Pray everything goes really well for Donnie's um, painting yeah, up there on that. the mountain. We'll be doing logistics on Wednesday and next Friday, and then uh, and then pray for Monday. Monday is going to be a big day in this these United States. So we want it to go well and go the way God wants it to go and not the way that any GOV or anybody else wants it to go. Thank the Lord yeah. for His, will, we pray his the, way being done over this United States. We pray States, the GOV do, his country. doesn't enter, doesn't interfere yes. with anything okay. in Jesus' we, name. <laughs> pull the wheels off Pharaoh's chariot and we just pray that the Lord take us off the enemy's radar, confuse his signals and scramble his communications over us in Jesus' name. So Thanks for joining us, Jim. We Appreciate say, it. We, we love, love you. But, but Jesus, Jesus loves, loves you more. more. And if you haven't repented and turned, given your heart to the Lord, please do. Please, please do. Because you never know when he's coming. Believe Could be any time. Could be any time. Thumbs up for Jesus. We love, love, love you. Good night. Good Thank night. You. Good night. Good night.